This video is a brief overview of the Briggs & Stratton P3000 Inverter Generator. Well, after over 20 years of being with the same generator, it was finally time to get a new one. It was running rough, and the cost of repairs far exceeded its value. So I picked up the Briggs & Stratton P3000. There's several reasons why I decided to go with this generator. I wanted a 3000 watt generator at a good price. Well, this just happened to be on sale, so it was a good price. And I took a look at the reviews, and they were pretty good. First of all, I'm not going to go over on how to add the oil and all that stuff. So let's get this bad boy started. You just turn on the gas flow, turn on the choke, and give it a pull. The first thing that you'll notice is that it's a very quiet machine. Compared to my old one, this thing's a pussycat. A couple of things that I like about this generator right off the bat is its hour meter. Not to mention, toward the top there is three LEDs. So when this thing's on at night, you can actually see the display. Another thing that I like about this unit is that it has a built-in handle. It's literally like carrying a suitcase. Once you kick on that economy mode, the generator really quiets down. One thing cool about this unit too is it's got a built-in USB port right in the front. The one little drawback, and it is a little drawback, is you need a little adapter to hook it to an RV, which is the way that I plan on using it most of the time. You just take that little adapter and plug it straight into the generator, and then your RV plug will connect to that. One of the big things that sold me on this generator was the gas gauge. No question about it. Very cool. No guessing on this one, and the gas gauge is fairly accurate. And that hour meter in front there, with the LEDs looking at it, is very, very handy. I have a little over 10 hours on this thing, and it's due for an oil change. At the rear is the exhaust port. The big thing that I noticed about this is my old generator, the exhaust port, it's kind of right out in the open. This is a little bit hidden, but don't get the idea that you can park something right alongside of it. So the big question is always, how loud is it? Well, let's check that out. This is with eco mode off, and from 25 feet, I'm getting a decibel reading of 62.9, which is very cool. And if we turn eco mode on from 25 feet, our decibel reading is 58.5. One thing that this generator does not have is a start and stop switch. So the way that you shut it off is fuel starvation. Let it sit for a few minutes and let it cool. And you literally have a small suitcase. Here's the list of specs for this generator. As you can see, no problem at all powering an air conditioner and some of the other amenities are very handy. And that's the Briggs & Stratton P3000 Inverter Generator. I hope this video has been helpful, and 7.3 from N9LVS.